In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to perform a full system bare metal recovery using a bootable recover assist media and a backup assist backup. This process is required when a computer can't be started due to a hardware or operating system failure. The bootable recover assist media is created by recover assist using a removable drive or an optical disk. The backup is a system image created using Backup Assist System Protection Backup option. Before we start, it's useful to know that the recovery process happens in two parts. Part 1 involves using the bootable Recover Assist media to boot up the computer that cannot be started. Recover Assist will then load a recovery environment so you can locate a suitable backup to recover from. Part 2 of the recover process involves restoring the operating system, settings, data, and applications from your backup. It is important to remember that only system protection backups with critical volume selected can be used for a bare metal recovery. If you're ready to follow along, have your bootable recover assist media and your backup ready. Let's begin. In this example, we'll be using Recover Assist Boot CD to get the bare metal computer initialized and then restoring a Microsoft Hyper-V server from a backup on an external USB hard drive. This bare metal recovery process should work the same if you are trying to recover a physical Windows server or a desktop to a previous operating state. The bare metal computer is not going to find any boot device the first time you turn it on. We'll insert the Recover Assist CD into the computer's CD tray and press the Enter key to boot the computer from the CD. The system will start. You may see a progress bar or a blank screen, then a Windows logo, depending on the operating system being recovered. Then, the Recover Assist recovery environment will be loaded into this new computer. The Recover Assist recovery environment will load and display a user interface. The interface is used to select the backup's location and to access drivers and useful system tools. At this point, the Recover Assist environment has been successfully loaded. This completes Part 1 of the recovery process. We're now ready for Part 2, recovering this computer's operating system, its settings, data, and applications, from our most recent system protection backup. Let's connect the external USB hard drive where our backups are stored to this computer. We will be using the local drive option since our external USB drive is now directly connected to this computer. But before we proceed, let's consider what you could do if your backups are stored elsewhere. If your backups were located on a network share, you would select the Network option. If your backups were located on an iSCSI target, then select the iSCSI option. Recover Assist will then guide you through the process of setting up the network and drivers so you can connect to your backup location. You'll also notice three buttons at the bottom of the recovery environment that provide access to additional recovery features. The Load Driver button allows you to load any device drivers that were not included when creating the recovery environment. The Mount VHD button allows you to mount any VHD file, such as a Windows backup image. After mounting the VHD, you will be able to access the files using a local drive letter. The Support button allows you to configure a VNC connection. This connection can be used by Backup Assist technical support to connect your computer and provide assistance. Now, let's get back to our recovery of a Hyper-V server from a backup on an external USB drive. We will proceed by clicking the Recover from a Backup Located on a Local Drive option. This is a warning to make sure you check that the size of the hard disk drive on this computer you are recovering to is the same or larger than the original system that you backed up. Click Next. Recover Assist scans our external USB hard drive for any system protection image backups that it can use. 
If you wish, you could pick which backups to use by choosing the Select a System Image option. In this example, we're just going to recover from the latest backup. Click Next. This screen allows you to format or partition the computer's hard disk. You may use this option to create a volume on the disk or change the size of a partition. Click Next. Windows has found a system protection image backup it can use. We'll click Finish to begin recovering the operating system, settings, and data from the backup to this new computer. Click Yes to acknowledge that the computer hard disk will be formatted and overwritten by the backup. The process of recovering the system protection backup will now begin. This may take several hours depending on the size of the backup. When the recovery is completed, the system will verify that the Windows operating system was recovered properly. It will also give you the option to run some advanced tools. The system checks to verify that the recovered system can be found. Unless you are having issues with booting after the recovery, we recommend clicking Finish to skip this step. Before you click on the Restart button, remove the bootable Recover Assist CD and disconnect the external USB hard drive from the computer. Click the Restart button. We'll now let the system start up by itself to verify that the system is bootable and that the recovery was successful. There is no need to press any keys on the keyboard during this boot process. Success! Our Hyper-V server has been fully recovered to its previous operational state. We have now successfully performed a bare metal recovery from a system protection backup. If you have any questions, please email support at backupassist.com or visit our online help portal. Thank you for watching this Backup Assist instructional video.